What's up YouTube? How's it going? I'm back again for another random video. Here's the unboxing of the Dan B dehumidifier, the 40 pints, 18.9 liters. Picked this up at Costco for $179.99. Canadian's about $200. Um, I just bought one actually. It was a Frigidaire. I ended up returning it. And this one is $140 cheaper. And it comes with a two year warranty. And it's from Costco, which has a great return policy. So, grown up, you're not getting my money. And I got to use it for free during the pandemic. So, that's nice. So, let's see how much better this one is. <clears throat> do you pay for what you get? Or do you get more for less? Costco's pretty good at giving you more for less. But well, you gotta pay the shop there, so. It's not really a deal, if you ask me. Oh, oh, this one's nice. It's got some good weight to it. Ooh, yeah, peeling off that tape. Very nice. So, on the box here, it says, um, smart, dehumidity, smart humidity. Uh, unit will automatically control room humidity by factoring in ambient temperature. Auto restart, unit automatically restarts after a power failure. Direct drain feature allows for continuous operation, 24 hour timer, electronic controls with LED display. Right on. And on the side here we got reusable wash, washable air filter, low temperature function, unit operates at temperatures as low as five degrees, a powerful two speed fan, my Frigidaire had three. Uh, auto de-icer prevents frost buildup. Four uh, casters for easy room-to-room -room transport, like such. All right. So let's have a make sure you guys can see that. Let's have a look at this unit. I'm gonna take this tape off. Easy. It's got good material. I found it weird because online. All these big manufacturers only give you a one year manufacturer warranty. This is the only company that gives two, from my knowledge, of doing research. And then when I saw this at Costco, during the pandemic, I had to get it. But I could not return my other one until the stores opened. So then I bought this one today. <clears throat> okay, so... Uh, train. What the heck is this? Okay. I'll be using the the hose, which lets you continually let's let's it stay on continuously, so you don't have to worry about it filling. But my place is pretty dry. So it'll probably take a whole day anyway to. Uh, Drain it, it's Energy Star, which is nice. 18.9 liters, that's a pretty big bucket. And there, you know, as it fills up, that's when it tells the machine to turn off. Just a little FYI, what I had to learn. If you do not have this hose connected to the back, and you have the, it plugged in the bucket, it'll keep draining out of here. Kind of wrecked my floor finding that one out. Don't do what I did. So, we're going to turn the unit on here. And just uh, plug it in. Where is a little plug in? I will use this. They all basically sound the same. <clears throat> so. so that's fairly loud. Okay, it's a little quieter. Not as quiet as my Frigidaire, but who cares? We're not really comparing. I did save 150 bucks, and you can't compare that. 
I'm still getting the same old thing. It's still sucking water out of the air. Timer. You want it nice and dry. So we've only got two speeds. Continuous. Well, that's cool. Let's take a look at the air filter there. So as we turn the unit around, there she is. There's just coils on the back. Very nice. Then you just clean this with water and you're good to go. Sucks in uh, <coughs> the moist air. Oh, I hate that word. Boom. And I'm going to be putting the hose on there. And that's that. There you have it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more random videos as I try to upload not so often. And I'll talk to you real soon. Bye for now.